hello guys. A little bit of an update here on this Scania truck. Which, oh my gosh, this thing looks really orange on the viewfinder. But it is not that orange in real life. See, so yeah, is this look more redder? Yeah, that looks lighter. It's got to be the filter on here. Yeah, it's making it orange look good. Alrighty, so I have steering. I also have drive. That's full speed. I got all kinds of control. So I just got that Lesu tire sitting in the back here for now. If I tip the cab ahead. So here's what we got in here. We have an Antigua 55 turn into a 4 to 1 gear reduction. Got to remove this battery off here. So my drive shaft came in today. That's what I was waiting for. So this is a long guy. Uh, let's see if I set the battery down here. I know it says on this drive shaft somewhere. Oh, there it was. <laughs> there we go. What do we got here? No. No. There we go. <laughs> Add it. Okay. RC run. So I had to find one that was long enough because this transmission is in a different spot compared to the stock Tamiya. Which means I also have to take this cross member out because, well, obviously it goes right through it. Uh, turn on, focus back on. And then go down to that one. Uh, still need to find a proper battery mount for this because I can't mount the little extras in there yet. I think that's fast enough. So now I got this guy in here. I got to order more of these before they become obsolete. And I have this radio here hooked up to it because right now two channel because that's all it's doing is driving and steering. So I drop the cab down. You can see inside it lights it up really good in there. But I haven't decided if I'm going to paint for sure behind it or not. I still haven't done any extras to it yet. But yeah, let's uh, set her down on the floor here and uh, see what I can do. Alrighty, this is the first time driving it. <laughs> Get back here. Alright, let's try it flat out. That's as fast as it goes. So I can tell already. I'm going to have to do some steering, steering modifications. Hey, there's my other radio. <laughs> I was looking for it. Because it is not turning sharp enough. So if it wasn't uh, going to be snowing like six inches of snow, I'd probably take this outside, but it won't be until it dries up now for sure. But I got to figure out how to get a, um, uh, I got to hook a trailer up to it, but I'm also going to see if I can put behind that trailer, somehow get that guy in there. I put the uh, white wheels on that for now. We'll see how that goes. So obviously before blue 
when blue was supposed to go together, but it's not gone anymore. And then once I get everything figured out, we'll take it for a ride outside with a couple trailers behind it. Um, maybe I'll find some bricks or something like that and put it on there and see how that does for pulling. But I imagine this thing will it'll break something before it uh, gives up. Uh, like uh, won't be a problem with the motor or a speed controller. It'll be probably a drive shaft or some gears in the differentials for something. Anyhow, yeah, there you guys go. Nice little quick update on the Scania. And I uh, still got to do all the detailing stuff like that and figure out if I'm actually going to put the interior in there. But until next time, guys, we'll see you. Bye.